I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. And if you're in no contact, focused on personal growth, my workbook series, The Knowledge, will help you make changes like you've never made before. Available now at AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And today we're gonna to be talking about breakups and oxytocin. So one of the things that you have to understand is that when you're going through a breakup, your body is going through physiological responses and different things are happening which are impacting how you feel. Exactly. So Margaret's got some good research today that we're going to talk about it. This is re research that was done at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology in the Department of Psychologists, okay. Psychology. And the person who wrote it is named Marguerite Darlington. All right. Now we've talked about oxytocin before and explained that it is called the cuddle chemical. All right. Mm -hmm. um, whenever we hug or kiss a loved one, our levels of the hormone oxytocin increase and we are more inclined to bond with this person. Okay? Mm -hmm. When people notice that their partner is showing less interest in the relationship than they are, mm -hmm. the level of this relationship building hormone increases. So contrary to our previous understanding of this hormone, oxytocin works not only to support the relationship when it's going well, but to rescue it when a breakup seems imminent. All right, so you get all set to break up with somebody and Mother Nature says, think I'll send a shot of oxytocin, maybe they won't break up. Mm. Now Mother Nature always wants you to procreate, always wants us to procreate. So Mother Nature is not in favor of breakups at all. <laughs> All right. Other research has pointed out that oxytocin protects against depression. Okay. So if you realize that all is lost in a relationship and the chances of getting back together are not good, sometimes your oxytocin level drops, making you feel even more depressed. Mm -hmm. So first you get a shot of it to give you the energy to get, get your person back. And then when your oxytocin says, oh, gets this is over, it drops and you feel really awful. Now, I think this is a dirty trick on oxytocin and Mother Nature's part. Mm -hmm. Don't you? All right. Now, here are some tips, and I swear unto you, I did not make these up. Okay. I couldn't on my best day. All how, right. Well, how to boost your oxytocin without falling in love. Okay. Okay. Number one, I didn't make it up. Gaze into your dog's eyes. A researcher in Japan has discovered that locking eyes with your dog can increase your oxytocin levels by 300%. Wow. Okay. Now, imagine the surprise of the dog who suddenly <laughs> finds you. Let's say it's an Akita. This took place in, a, in Japan. Can you imagine staring lovingly at your, your Akita's eyes for a while? <laughs> Petting them also helps. Okay. And remember that the dog gets a charge of oxytocin also and probably then tries to get in your lap. Mm -hmm. All right. So there's one. Number two, hug somebody. In addition to boosting oxytocin levels, hugging reduces your cardiovascular stress and enhances your immune functioning, according to an article in Psychology Today. Mm -hmm. Now, hug somebody. Let's be reasonably here. You just broke up. All right. So who are you going to hug? Random strangers. Well, I had this vision <laughs> of, of someone being in the grocery store and saying, well, look at this nice lady buying all the same frozen vegetables I like. Madam, I'm really entranced with your, your taste in vegetables. Can I give you a big hug? I'm going to call the police. Yeah, right. I'm going to call the police. <laughs> where's your mask? Yeah, where's your mask? But anyway, yeah, you just broke up. Who are you going to hug? Uh, somebody does suggest signing up for a massage, which I think is a great idea. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be quite the same as somebody who loves you, but Mother Nature doesn't altogether know the difference. 
The third suggestion, oxytocin is also called the holiday hormone, which I hadn't heard before, um, because it makes you want to buy gifts. Now, I don't know if the advertising profession is aware of this, and I'm not sure we should be telling them. Mm -hmm. um, giving a gift directly to someone or making a donation to a good cause also gives us a charge of oxytocin. So buy a gift, a gift or make a donation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Margaret's hinting at something. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, don't all donations are, are accepted. I'm just thinking of all the mail I get um, wanting donations and you can't give to all of them, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think I got six yesterday. And of course they're all very heart wrenching and there are pictures of distressed children on the front of the envelope, mm -hmm. you know? So anyway, those are our suggestions about oxytocin, but it is fairly new. We had heard it before, but it's clearer to me that when you're in the midst of a breakup, you're trying to get this person out of your life or at least begin to live with the fact that they're not they're right with you. And the oxytocin comes along and says, yep, you really do love them, better go get them. All right? That's gonna make you feel even worse. Oh, God, yes. Okay. All right. Some good research there. Let us know what you thought. Leave a comment below and let us know if you want us to talk about this again in the future. Now, if you don't have a dog, um, I suppose you could go down to your local shelter. Right? And pick one up. <laughs> yeah. Or if you have one who lives next door, go have a chat. <laughs> All right? All right. There's the story. All right. So if you want to get our help personally, just go to my website, AskCraig.net. Sign up for the coaching option that works best for you. I do email coaching and I do Skype. Margaret is available for Skype coaching. If you think that I can be helpful, please sign up. And she'll give you a big hug. Absolutely. Over the Skype. A Skype hug. People always say they want to hug you. Yeah, a Skype hug. So click on Margaret at the top of the website to get a coaching with her. But that's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Margaret. And we will talk with you soon. To get my help personally, go to AskCraig.net and click on Schedule Coaching and choose the option that works best for you. I do email coaching or Skype. To schedule a coaching with Margaret, click on Margaret on the top of the page and order a Skype with her. For the Knowledge Creative Healing course, click on the link at the top of the page and click Get Started Now.